hey, lots of pictures on social media of people outside enjoying this great weather. We made it all the way to 58 degrees this afternoon. Not quite a record. The record for this date, 67 in 1944. Felt, though, like the uh, early part of April instead of the end of January. I'll have the numbers for you in just a second. This is Live Doppler 13 radar. We are tracking a change as we head into the weekend. That change will include rain chances and then eventually a cool down. Right now, Live Doppler 13 radar shows the line of steadiest rain developing across the western part of the state from near Brazil and Center Point along I-70 and Highway 40 up into Greencastle as we cross 231 in Putnam County and then all the way north and east into the northwestern corner of Hendricks County and into Boone County. So we've got some rain near Thorntown approaching Lebanon, a pocket of steadier rain in Frankfurt, moving toward Kempton, up into Kokomo. And again, this is just the beginning. Right now we have 50 52 degrees in Indianapolis. It's breezy. A south wind at 22. Today's high temperature 58. That's 22 above the average, but again, we missed the record of 67 degrees. The movement of the rain southwest to northeast. I mentioned this is just the beginning. Future Track 13 will confirm that as we head past the midnight hour into the early part of your Saturday. There will be rain around, and some of this is going to be steady at times. This is 7 o'clock tomorrow morning. Rain from Noblesville to Indianapolis, Martinsville to Bloomington. The shield of rain will continue to develop through 10 a.m. We'll stop it at lunchtime. Be prepared to have the umbrella around during the day tomorrow, especially the early half. Eventually, we will see this end from northwest to southeast, so a clearing trend after we'll start the day pretty soggy on Saturday. How much rain are we expecting? Anywhere from a half inch to maybe three quarters of an inch in a few places. We'll keep you posted on those rain totals as they come in. Temperatures behind the cold front. It's a cold front that will trigger the rain. Those temperatures will start to fall. So as we get into the early part of your Sunday, temperatures will fall all the way to near 30 degrees. We'll be a little concerned if the winds die down and skies clear enough for some patchy, dense fog early on Sunday morning. Some of that could be freezing fog with those temperatures close to 30, so we'll keep you posted on that this weekend as well. A couple of weak disturbances will start to move our way early in the work week. This could bring us a couple of snow showers Monday and again on Tuesday, but right now we're not forecasting any accumulations of snow, at least early in the week. 50, but morning rain will give way to some late day clearing. 45 on Sunday. We'll watch for that fog development early Sunday morning. Keep you updated. 32 with a couple snow showers possible Monday, Tuesday. Tuesday, no accumulations. We're back close to 50 Wednesday before a bigger weather system arrives. Something to watch for the end of next week. Could be some rain changing to snow Thursday into Friday.